Imagine that you're driving home from work one day when you get cut off by another driver. You immediately feel your blood boiling. Your heart starts racing and you start to feel angry and aggressive. You want to pull over and yell at the other driver, but you know that would only make things worse. This is the chimp in you. The chimp is the emotional part of your brain that is driven by fear, anger, and the need for instant gratification. It's the part of you that wants to lash out and react impulsively. But at the same time, you want to stay away from the trouble and think about the possible consequences of your yelling at this driver. This part of your brain is the human. The human is the rational, logical part of your brain that is able to plan, strategize, and control the chimp. The key to success is to learn how to manage the chimp. This means understanding how the chimp works and developing strategies to control its impulses. The Chimp Paradox is a book that teaches you how to do just that. In this video, I'm going to give you a summary of the book and show you how you can use its techniques to manage your own chimp. So if you're ready to learn how to control your emotions and achieve greater success in your life, then let's get started. But before detailing the concepts discussed in the book, make sure to subscribe the channel for more encouraging content. The Chimp Paradox, the mind management program to help you achieve success, confidence, and happiness is written by Steve Peters. The author is a psychiatrist and former British cycling team doctor who specializes in the performance of human brain. In this self-help book, he explores how our minds work and gives practical tips to understand and control our emotions. The book introduces the idea of the chimp representing our emotional side and explains how it often leads us to act impulsively and irrationally. By understanding this concept, readers can learn to manage their feelings better, make better decisions, and develop healthier ways of thinking for personal growth and success in various areas of life. In The Chimp Paradox, Steve Peters explains the rational human and emotional chimp aspects of human beings through the concept of a three-part model of the brain. He introduces three things. One, the human is the rational, logical, and analytical part of the brain responsible for thoughtful decision-making and long-term planning. It represents our higher cognitive functions and the voice of reason. Two, the chimp is the emotional, instinctive, and impulsive part of the brain that acts on emotions and immediate needs. The chimp is quick to react, driven by feelings, and tends to make snap judgments. Three, the computer is the part of the brain that stores learned behaviors and experiences. It records and processes information, shaping our beliefs and perceptions over time. The author uses the metaphor of the chimp to help people understand their emotional side better. He explains that the chimp brain is more potent than the human brain. And when we are stressed or overwhelmed, the chimp can take over, leading to irrational and emotional responses. By recognizing and understanding the chimp within us, we can manage its influence and learn to work collaboratively with our human brain to make more balanced and rational decisions. In this three-part model, Steve Peters delves deeper into the interactions between the rational human and the emotional chimp within us. He emphasizes that recognizing the chimp's impact on our thoughts and actions is crucial for achieving better self-awareness and emotional management. Through this understanding, we can learn to identify when our chimp is taking control, allowing us to pause, reflect, and make more rational decisions guided by our human brain. Peters also highlights the significance of developing a compassionate approach towards our chimp, acknowledging its role as a protective mechanism rather than an adversary. By nurturing this wholesome relationship between the two aspects of our mind, we can achieve the true potential of our cognitive abilities leading to personal growth, enhanced well-being, and a more successful life journey. The chimp represents the emotional, instinctive, and impulsive aspect of human beings. Here are some qualities attributed to the chimp. One, emotional. The chimp is highly emotional and tends to react strongly to various situations, often based on feelings rather than rational thinking. Two, impulsive. The chimp acts quickly and impulsively, making snap judgments without thoroughly considering the consequences. Three, reactive. It reacts to perceived threats or challenges in a defensive or aggressive manner, seeking to protect itself or assert dominance. Four, irrational. The chimp does not engage in logical reasoning and may jump to conclusions based on emotions rather than facts. Five, fearful. It can be driven by fear and anxiety, leading to overreactions or avoidance of perceived threats. Six, 
territorial, the chimp can be possessive and protective of what it considers its territory or belongings. Seven, competitive, it thrives on competition and may feel the need to assert dominance over others to establish its position. Eight, tends to oversimplify. The chimp brain prefers black and white thinking, ignoring nuances and complexities. Nine, seeks instant gratification. It may prioritize short-term desires over long-term goals, seeking immediate rewards. 10. Emotional memory. The chimp's emotional responses are shaped by past experiences, which can trigger strong reactions in similar situations. The chimp metaphor helps readers understand their emotional responses better and learn how to manage and work with their chimp brain to achieve emotional balance and better decision making. By recognizing these qualities, individuals can gain better control over their emotional reactions and develop healthier ways of thinking and behaving. The human represents the rational, logical, and analytical aspect of human beings. Some qualities attributed to the human are one, rational thinking. The human brain engages in logical reasoning, considering facts, evidence, and potential outcomes before making decisions. Two, thoughtful decision-making. It takes time to analyze situations and options, seeking the best course of action based on careful evaluation. Three, long-term planning. The human brain can focus on long-term goals and work towards achieving them with patience and perseverance. Four, empathy and understanding. The human is capable of empathy and compassion, considering others' feelings and perspectives in decision-making. Five, self-control. It can exercise self-control and discipline to resist impulsive behaviors and emotional outbursts. Six, open to learning. The human brain is open to new information and experiences, willing to adapt and grow based on new knowledge. Seven, ability to think abstractly. It can process abstract concepts and think beyond immediate circumstances. Eight, problem solving. The human brain is skilled at analyzing problems and finding effective solutions. Nine, effective communication. It can articulate thoughts and ideas clearly, fostering effective communication with others. 10, time perspective. The human brain can consider the consequences of actions in the long term and balance immediate desires with future goals. Throughout the book, Peters emphasizes the importance of understanding and harnessing the qualities of the human brain to work collaboratively with the emotional chimp. By doing so, individuals can manage their emotions better, make more balanced decisions, and achieve personal growth and success in various areas of life. According to the chimp paradox, learning to manage the chimp involves a process of understanding and developing a constructive relationship with the emotional, instinctive part of your brain. Here are the key steps Peters outlines in his book. One, recognize the chimp. The first step is to recognize and acknowledge that the chimp exists within you. Accept that it is a natural part of your brain and it plays a major role in your emotions and behavior. Two, understand chimp behavior. Learn about the typical behaviors and thought patterns of the chimp. Recognize how it reacts to different situations, especially when under stress or feeling threatened. Three, identify triggers. Become aware of the triggers that set off your chimp, leading to emotional responses. These triggers can vary from person to person and might be situations, people, or specific thoughts. Four, stay calm and don't engage. When your chimp is triggered and starts acting up, try to remain calm and avoid engaging with the emotional impulses. Take a step back and give yourself some time before responding to any situation. Five, use the computer. The computer part of your brain stores your learned behaviors and beliefs. Use this rational part of your brain to analyze situations and generate alternative responses to those triggered by the chimp. Six, manage stress. Stress can heighten the chimp's reactions. Learn effective stress management techniques such as relaxation exercises, mindfulness, or physical activities to help keep the chimp under control. Seven, rehearse rational thinking. Cultivate rational thinking and decision-making skills. Weigh the pros and cons of different options before making choices and consider the potential long-term consequences. Eight, be polite to your chimp. Instead of fighting the chimp or trying to suppress it, be kind to your emotional brain. Recognize that it is a protective mechanism and its motives are not necessarily bad. Treat it like a child that needs guidance and care. Nine, put boundaries. Establish clear boundaries and values that align with your goals and principles. This can help the human and chimp work together more effectively towards shared objectives. 10, practice, practice, 
practice. Managing the chimp is not an overnight process. It takes time and practice to develop emotional intelligence and improve your ability to manage your emotional responses effectively. By following these steps and consistently working on understanding and managing the chimp, you can foster a more balanced and harmonious relationship between the emotional and rational aspects of your brain, leading to improved emotional regulation and decision making in various aspects of life. Moreover, there are a number of techniques that can be used to manage the chimp, such as naming the chimp. This helps to distance yourself from the chimp's emotions and gives you more control over it. The three second rule, this rule helps you to stop and think before you act on the chimp's impulses. The chimp whisperer, this is a technique for calming the chimp down and getting it to cooperate. The chimp paradox is a powerful tool for understanding and managing your own mind. By learning how to control the chimp, you can achieve greater success, happiness, and fulfillment in your life. While the chimp paradox has been well received by many readers for its insights into the human mind and practical strategies for emotional management, it is essential to acknowledge that no book is without its drawbacks. Here are some probable drawbacks of the book. One, simplified model. Some critics argue that the chimp human computer model presented in the book is oversimplified and may not fully capture the complexities of the human mind. While it serves as a useful metaphor, it might not be a complete representation of how the brain works. Two, lack of scientific evidence. Some aspects of the book, especially those related to neuroscience, have been criticized for lacking concrete scientific evidence to support the claims. While the concepts are based on the author's experience working with athletes and clients, some readers may prefer more empirical evidence. Three, not a replacement for therapy. While the book offers valuable self-help techniques, it may not be a substitute for professional therapy or mental health treatment for individuals with severe emotional or psychological issues. Four, overemphasis on control. Some readers may feel that the book places too much emphasis on the idea of controlling or suppressing emotions, which can be challenging and potentially counterproductive in some cases. Emotions are a natural part of being human and finding a healthy way to express and understand them might be more beneficial for some individuals. Five, writing style. Some readers may think that the writing style of the book to be too simplistic or repetitive, which might lead to disengagement for those looking for more in-depth or sophisticated analysis. Six, cultural context. The book's examples and language may be more relatable to a Western audience, and some concepts might not resonate as strongly with readers from different cultural backgrounds. 7. Limited Scope While the book primarily focuses on emotional management and decision-making, some readers might have expected a clearer discussion of other aspects of personal development or psychology. It's crucial to approach any self-help book with an open mind and consider how the concepts align with your individual needs and beliefs. While the chimp paradox has been effective for many, it may not be a perfect fit for others, and readers are encouraged to search multiple resources and perspectives to gain a well-rounded understanding of emotional management and personal growth. As a summary of the book, we can say that the book uses the metaphor of a chimp to represent the emotional part of the brain. This is a helpful way to understand how the chimp works and how it can be managed. It provides a number of practical techniques that can be used to manage the chimp. These techniques are easy to learn and apply, and they can be very effective in helping you to control your emotions. It is written in a clear and engaging style. It is full of real-life examples and exercises that help to make the concepts easy to understand. Overall, The Chimp Paradox is a valuable book for anyone who wants to improve their self-management skills. It is a well-written and informative book that provides a practical and effective approach to managing the chimp. Thank you all for tuning in to this insightful review of The Chimp Paradox on our YouTube channel. We hope you found the exploration of Steve Peters' book both inspiring and thought-provoking. Remember, understanding and managing the emotional chimp within us can be a powerful tool for achieving personal growth and success in various aspects of life. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more enriching discussions. 
Poetics of Success is your compass to self-improvement, achieving financial freedom, unlocking the potential for success, and reaching full potential. Let's continue this journey of readying our minds for greater success together. Until next video, stay motivated and keep striving for excellence.